The independent music industry is on the rise as major record labels begin to fall and go on the decline. It is apparent that there is a specific following that is boosting indie music's popularity, yet at the same time there are those who look at the genre of music as a pop fad or as something that will eventually transition into another fad down the road. The truth really is that indie music is not on the decline, and it has instead established itself as a genre of many faces with the interest of multiple groups of music lovers. Ultimately, the major record label business is on the decline and is bound to fall apart. Independent labels, no matter the genre, have the growing power to continue their progressive success. Indie music can be considered as independently produced music in the music industry. The identity, the identity of indie music is building and growing rather than on the decline as more and more styles are being formed under the genre title itself. Alternative, dance, hip-hop, rock, folk, pop, and blues music all have the ability to fall under the category of indie music. This is affecting multiple areas of the music industry, major record labels and empires, studios, and music sales. It's a grand scale, but within a small amount of record labels. The big four labels are Sony BMG, Universal, Music Group, EMI, and Warner Music Group. In this story, I'm mainly focusing on the independent labels as they continue to build on a, a new industry for music. The record business can be defined can be defined as the, as the idea that the record companies own the music instead of the artists themselves. A perfect example of a successful independent artist would be Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, who produced The Heist in 2013. The record business is on the decline, whereas a new music business is rising. The difficulty is figuring out why the decline is happening. Is it because of the audience, or is it because of the change of music production? There are around 25 indie record labels that are popular and people should recognize these, whereas there are only four big record labels that seem to have all the power but are slowly losing their recognition to these labels. These trends relate back to the idea that a music business is rising, where bands and artists are selling their music directly to their fans instead of through the rec regular, regular, uh, regular record business process. The ideal time to tell this story is right now, because this is the peak or the beginning of this music business process. Once indie record labels become more successful, they will gradually overtake the major record labels, and the major record labels will go on the decline. This research does prove that the timeliness of this topic, because it is generating interest in the information entirely, it will show that independent record labels will be more successful. There is no bashing of any kind. I'm not looking to destroy or, or hinder the major record labels that are out there. And these articles that I, this article that I plan on working on is not overly opinionated. The general public should care about this, this story because it influences them directly. Music impacts us all in one way or another, and it's important to recognize the changing of the business of it all so that we are aware of what is happening with the new generation of music. To prove this, there are over 6 million paying subscribers to Spotify and over 24 million users alone. That is just one program for the general public to be able to listen to music, and there are still major bands and artists that have not even permitted their music to be played on such a program. This needs to happen at some point or another, and it's bound to, bound to do so. If you look at Led Zeppelin, um, Pink Floyd, the Eagles, popular bands from the past are starting to follow suit. On iTunes alone, Apple is adding over 500,000 accounts per day. Granted, iTunes is not only used for music, it is used for many apps and programs, books, movies, TV shows, but it does have the highest rating of music sales and people are not always buying full albums. They're looking at regular singles. The multiple points of view that need to be looked at are the independent record labels, the indie artists and bands that are building the successes, and lastly, the indie music fans. This story is not to shed a negative light on any of the parties involved. This is mainly an observation with recognition of all sides and what is happening within the story. The story does not have to do with the author's opinion. I don't believe there is an opinion to be recognized for this story. This story has its own perspectives and facts to help guide it. But other than that, it is not an opinionated feature. This is my first interviewee, uh, or interview. It'll be Larry Pointer. He is the president and CEO of Southwest, South Coast Records in Orlando, Florida. It's an independent record label, and I think it's really important to be able to talk with him because he seems to have a lot of background um, on the topic. Um, the record label will be able to provide information regarding which direction most independent labels are heading toward and how his label in particular is a perfect example for such a successful independent label.
Oklahoma Stackhouse will be the band that I plan on interviewing. Um, they're they're a band of multiple genres, but mainly they focus on reggae rock, and they play in the Orlando area. They've played at many shows, and they have recently recorded their own album to distribute to the public on their own. Mainstream stories dealing with this topic are always directly sourced within a specific story. The topic of the story is broader in the spectrum of where things are going rather than what they are right now. The idea of time is a matter of asking the question when instead of how it happened alone. A lot of the art, these articles about the industry deal with personal stories and the impact of the individual. In all actuality, though, we're all being impacted in one way or another. It's really about the overall picture of it all. How is this impacting the entire independent community? How is it impacting all the popular artists that are under contract with considerably well-known labels? My target audience consists of any music lovers from all around. There needs to be some sort of connection between the independent business aspect and the purchasing of the goods being pro produced. Music lovers should be more aware of where the music industry is going and how it is progressing so that they can either jump on board or even help push the process further. This story is to influence and inform simultaneously at the same exact time this needs to be known posted an article about how independent music mu musicians and singers are growing in numbers, which will ultimately show the growth in mu indie music fans by the numbers. In conclusion, overall, the increase in indie independent record labels shows that there will be more potential for job opportunities within the music industry as well. Because of the major record labels being so picky about who they bring in, in terms of free internships, um, under college scholarships, there could be opportunity knocking at the doors of many music enthusiasts, professionals, and entrepreneurs, and new careers can develop and be built. People will finally be able to become more involved with the process of music production and distribution. Labels are rising in popularity all over the country, and these labels are becoming more and more directly connected to not only the artists they are promoting, but their following is also on the rise as well. The future will be coming quicker than most people think because of all this. The story is important right now, and it is happening before everyone's eyes. It's just too easy for people to not pay so much attention because other things are happening right now that are taking away from the attention of the music industry. Many people get distracted and they just use the programs that distribute the music like Spotify and iTunes and they don't really care where it's coming from. It's important to be able to recognize where music is going, what direction is it taking at this point.